In this video, I'm talking about my four favorite hearing aid features, coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Anthem, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, consider hitting the subscribe button. There are a ton of cool features that are inside of hearing aids, but there are a few that I feel are complete game changers for individuals with hearing loss. So I wanted to go over what I feel are the four best hearing aid features in 2018. Number four is acoustically optimized venting by Phonak. Perhaps one of the biggest overlooked components of an excellent hearing aid fitting is the vent size. Whether you have a low frequency hearing loss or extreme high frequency hearing loss, or you just wanna make sure that you're matching your prescription as closely as possible, vent size matters. This is why Phonak takes your hearing thresholds and fabricates the exact correct vent size in order to maximize your hearing aid performance. These optimized vents are great for preventing the leakage of sound which can create whistling or feedback issues. They can also allow you to amplify low frequency sounds without getting as much occlusion effect. You also have the natural transmission of sound from the outside of your ear through to the inside of your ear so if you have some natural hearing ability left you can use that with these optimized vents. Acoustically optimized venting is only available in the custom ear molds from Phonak so if you want the benefits then you're going to have to ditch the generic rubber domes. My third favorite feature is the Open Sound Navigator by Oticon. Oticon really changed the game with their open hearing aids because they changed the way that their hearing aids function in a background noise setting. Instead of putting blinders on like traditional hearing aids forcing you to have to look in the direction that you want to hear better, the Open Sound Navigator let you leave that listening landscape open because their chip was so fast that it could actually identify different speech signals that you should be paying attention to but still eliminating background noise in that entire listening landscape. So it really gives you a more natural listening experience without having this feeling like you have blinders on and you're not hearing people to the sides of you or behind you that you would normally want to hear. The Open Sound Navigator is available in all three technology levels of the Oticon Open Hearing Aids. My second favorite feature is made for iPhone technology. Now there are a lot of companies that use the made for iPhone technology, but the reason that I like it so much is because if you have difficulty hearing on the phone, the made for iPhone technology makes it a heck of a lot better because it streams that sound into both of your ears. And if you know anything about hearing, you know that when you can hear with both of your ears, it actually increases your ability to understand speech. Not only is it great that you can stream phone calls into both of your ears to keep you better connected with family and friends, but you can also do a lot of other cool things with this made for iPhone technology, like stream audio books or podcasts, or even YouTube videos directly into your hearing aids. You can find made for iPhone technology and a lot of different hearing aid technology levels, so cost shouldn't be a barrier for you to be able to utilize this feature. And my number one favorite hearing aid feature is the AutoSense OS by Phonak. The thing that I like so much about the AutoSense feature is that it automatically adjusts the hearing devices based on the environments that you're in without you having to do a thing. So if you walk into a restaurant, the hearing devices know that you're in a restaurant and they will put you into the correct program settings for that restaurant. If you end up leaving the restaurant and you hop in the car, the hearing aid can identify that you're in a car and put you into the correct settings for that car. One of the fun things about the AutoSense feature is that they've done research to identify that the AutoSense feature is actually better at identifying your environment than you as a human are. So if you find yourself in a complex listening situation, you can be sure that the hearing device is actually picking out better settings than you would pick out in that same situation. It's also kind of nice that you don't have to fiddle around with changing different programs. The AutoSense feature has almost eliminated any need to have any additional programs that you would adjust manually based on the environment that you're in. So if you don't like fumbling around with your hearing aids or you don't feel like you're capable of adjusting your hearing aids correctly, you don't even have to worry about it because the AutoSense feature does it all for you. Like I mentioned before, there are a ton of cool features that are inside of hearing aids, and some of those features are nice to have, and some of those features are essential. And I feel like these 
four features that I've just described are some of the most essential features that you could possibly have inside of a hearing aids to maximize your performance with those hearing aids. Just remember, there is no hearing aid feature that will perform its best unless you've had your hearing aids fit and programmed using real ear measurement. Now, if you don't know what real ear measurement is, I highly recommend that you watch my video that I will link in the card up here and in the description below because it is the single most important factor to ensure that you maximize your benefit with hearing aids, and I would not recommend buying hearing aids from anyone who doesn't do them. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.